Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My channel name is here Physics Mountain, Physics underscore Mountain or Smart Physics 786. This is my channel, guys. And now see here. Now I am going to take here new chapter. The that, that the chapter name is here first year chapter. That is the eighth chapter oscillation. In that chapter we are having here two most important LAQs. In that one first one simple pendulum. So we are having here the motion of a simple pendulum is simple harmonic motion we have to show here. And along with this question you will get here one two mark question also. And sometimes you will get here one problem also. Okay guys. And now see here. <clears throat> now see here guys first of all what is a simple pendulum okay now what is a simple pendulum here sir means let us consider we are taking here one string the string it is suspended from your rigid support okay this is the rigid support guys and now see here let us consider we are taking here given bob that bob it is attached at the free end of the string at the free end of the string free end of the string okay now see here uh, okay see let us consider we are taking one string it is suspended from a rigid support and another end is tied at one uh, bob this is called here simple pendulum Okay, in the simple pendulum, first of all, what is the length of the pendulum, sir? Means suspension of the point to midpoint of the gravity of the bob. Suspension of the point to midpoint of the gravity of the bob that is called here length of the pendulum. This is denoted by the symbol is L. Okay, and now see here. <coughs> Whenever you have to hold the bob, you have to pull as a small angular displacement. Pull as a small angular displacement. That angle is that is the theta. Theta value is less than five degrees. Theta value is less than five degrees. Okay. Whenever you have to pull this bob as a small angular displacement, it will make here arc. That arc it is denoted by the symbol is x. Okay, guys. And now see here. Whenever you have to pull the bob as a small angular displacement, okay. Now the weight of the body can be worked downward direction that is mg. This weight mg can be resolved in here two rectangular components. One is the horizontal component. It can be worked along the string mg cos theta. mg cos theta. It can be worked along the string. Okay, guys. And now say opposite to the opposite of this mg cos theta, which one can be worked, sir? Mean that is the tension in the string. It can be worked upward direction. When the mg cos theta it can be worked downward direction, then tension in the string it can be worked upward direction. Now see another one. Already I told no. Mg can be resolved into rectangular components. One is the mg cos theta. It can be worked along the string. And another one is that is mg sin theta. Mg sin theta. It can be worked. Perpendicular to the string. This is the mg sin theta. Okay, guys. So this mg can be resolved into rectangular components. One is the mg cos theta, and another one is mg sin theta. And now see here. Whenever you have to pull the bob as a small angular displacement, so the restoring force will be what here? The restoring force is here mg sin theta. It can be opposite. We are pulling as a small angular displacement is upward direction. But the restoring force it can be work opposite direction to the lifting force. Okay, so now we can write here F is equal to applied force is equal to restoring force that is minus mg sin theta. Okay, and now see here according to the Newton second law, but according to the Newton second law, F is equal to ma. Now we have to write here replace of F, ma is equal to minus mg sin theta. Here M M M cancel. Now you will get again A is equals to minus G into sine theta. Okay. Now it can okay. Now see here. See here theta value is less than five degrees. Sir means sine ninety value is one. Then what about that sine five value? 
so it is very less than if we have to compare with theta so now we have to take here a replace of theta we have we are taking here theta and again now you have to substitute in that formula a is equals to minus g into theta so that's why i am writing here but sin theta is equal to theta so replace of sin theta we are taking here theta and from this formula what is theta values are means theta means nothing but arc by radius arc by radius here arc means nothing but we are taking here when the bob it can move from one point to another point in this form arc form so that is we are taking we are taking here x and radius means nothing but that is the length of the pendulum that is l so why we are taking here radius l sir we see you have to compare when the bob it can be rotate in a circular motion then this length of the pendulum only can be work as a radius okay so that's why we are taking theta is equals to arc by radius that is equals to x by l so replace of theta now we have to write here x by l therefore a is equals to minus g into x by l x by l then again a is equals to minus g by l into x for the equation number 1 this equation we are comparing with okay above equation i am writing here above equation above equation comparing with comparing with simple harmonic motion equation that is a is equals to minus omega square x this is the equation number 2 okay guys this is the equation number 2 these two equation whenever we have to equate because of this one also acceleration and this one also acceleration when are can become both are equal so now see here minus omega square x is equal to and let us another one the here side see equation 1 is equal to equation 1 is equal to 2 means minus omega square x is equal to minus of g by l into x both side minus minus cancel and x x also cancel now you will get omega square is equal to g by l then omega is equal to under root of g by l so omega came and what about the time period sir means time period but time period t is equal to 2 pi pi omega what is the time period here sir means the time taken for one complete oscillation that is called here time period okay t is equal to 2 pi by omega and now see here t is equal to 2 pi by omega value is under root of g by l whenever you have to write in the numerator as a numerator then you will get t is equal to 2 pi under root of l by g this is the time period formula okay this is the time period formula but suppose if you want here frequency for that frequency we have to take here but frequency that is n is equal to 1 by t means the reciprocal of time period is known as frequency so now we have to take here n is equal to 1 by t this means n is equal to 1 by t value is 2 pi under root of l by g under root of l by g which is equals to we have to write here 1 by 2 pi this under root of l by g if we can write as a numerator it will become under root of g by l so therefore n is equals to 1 by 2 pi under root of g by l this is the frequency formula okay guys and now see here guys this is a completely one question sir what is that question <coughs> Show the simple pendulum. Show the motion of a simple pendulum is simple harmonic motion. This is the first one. And in this equation, what we are going to find? We are going to find here time period. Okay. And in that question, he is asking another one attaching question. That is that is for two more question. What is that sir means? He is asking what is second pendulum? He is asking here what is second pendulum? What is second pendulum, sir? A simple pendulum whose time period is two seconds. A simple pendulum 
whose time period is 2 second that is called here second pendulum how we can find these values are means we can find by using experiment from that experiment we are going to find from the graph lt square graph from that lt square graph we go we are going to find that t square value t value so from the graph it will become here sir t square is equal to 4 then t is equal to under root of 4 under root of 4 means t is equal to 2 seconds so this is called here second pendulum this is called here second pendulum for this question also we are going to tell here what is that tick seconds also this one only t is equal to 2 second means second pendulum and as soon as i mean uh, for this uh, value also we are we are going to call another one name that is tick seconds tick seconds mean nothing but t is equal to 2 seconds okay guys i hope all of you i hope you all are understand okay guys once again you can check this all questions sir And I request you to all members, please. Like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sir.